Welcome back everybody. You might be able to see there's puddles on the ground and it just started pouring a minute ago. I came outside to split wood and it started raining immediately. So I'm hoping to dodge the raindrops and get a little more work done on all of these piles back here that you see. Let's go. I decided to go with the close-up view again today. I kind of like the close-up view. It really lets you see what's going on with the wood a little bit better, get a little bit more high definition of that. And as I mentioned in my previous video, when the sun's out, if I'm out in the afternoon, it just makes a big glare on that wood and it was real washed out looking. So facing the camera from this way uh, kind of eliminates some of that glare. But today's overcast anyway, so that's not a problem, but it does make for a, a nice uh, detailed shot of what's going on when I'm splitting the wood.
my gosh. Oh, that is tough. This may have been a bad decision to bring that home. Guys, that is a twisted crotch, and I'm basically going to have to get the chainsaw out. Uh, I struggle with this thing for a little bit, and it's just getting me stuck. And I, when I pull that maul out of there, it just snaps back together like a clamshell or something. So um, I also wanted to mention that you may be thinking I need to turn it around the other way, and I actually tried that off camera later that same day. Um, I flipped it around and hit it a couple times and it is just yeah. not going. You can't really see totally, but it's just a twist going into a crotch. That grain of that wood twists um, and it's bent and twisted in a crotch. So it's really tough and I'm going to get the chainsaw out and saw that thing in half, I think. I could probably burn it just like it is, but I think I'll, I'll saw it in half. Chainsaw. My tripod is beat up. It seems like if you're going to be working with wood like this around a tripod, it's going to take some abuse. So the next one I buy will probably have to be something more quality. Like, I guess if you spend some money on one, you could get one with actually some like solid metal legs. The one I have is like really thin and I mean if you roll a log into the leg of that tripod it just basically caves in and, and bends which it has done twice already so I have duct tape on it I know if you've been listening to the channel I've mentioned it before that I had to duct tape and try to super glue the leg a few videos ago and the other leg is also broken from when I was holding it and I slipped into the creek bed last winter so it keeps going and it's working but it's not fully functional anymore and if I have to buy a new one it'll probably be expensive because I'll want to get something that you know if a log rolls into it it's not going to smash the leg if it brushes into it.
All right, guys, it started raining and I don't want to get my camera wet and ruin it. So I'm about to wrap this up. I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it because I got plenty more where this comes from. Have a great day.